Hello, this is Eric Deloach, and we have a new show. Uh, this show is Black Authors and Others in the United States, and we have a special guest all the way across the world in South Africa. So this is definitely a treat. With no further ado, let's allow her to introduce herself. You can introduce her. Hey there, I'm Kalsta, all the way from South Africa. KwaZulu Natal, Kleza. Big ups. Yeah. So tell me, tell me, we we'll talk for a second. Tell me about your, how did your musical journey begin? How did you well, start? Um, okay, my life for music started when I was a kid. Um, dating back from when my dad and his brothers were wedding singers. So I was, I was inspired by them. Basically, I was more of a wild child. I was like all over the show, dancing, everything. Even like growing up till my teens, that's when I stopped my dancing, hip hop shit and, you know, turned my life around. Um, at 16, I went back to doing music again. I used to write a lot. And I was in a group called QTP. Um, we, we got offered a deal by Gallo, which I turned down because my guys weren't chosen. So... I waited um, mm. while waiting, you know, I wait on God's timing, which is God's timing is the best timing. And that's when I decided to release Baby Bonito, which is a Portuguese and English song, um, just basically a lullaby. And I changed up some things and started off there. And that's it. that's been like about seven years now. And I've released a couple more songs, all but with African vibe, house, and you know different genres, because I'm 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 everywhere basically. So that's Calsta, basically. Yeah. Okay. So, so what? what, what did, okay, okay, you, you said, said your family was, was into music. What, what type of what inspired, inspired them? them? What, 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 what did any American? Well, yeah. Well, let's see. What inspired them? And then the second question would be: Were there any American artists that might have inspired them? Um, okay, my American artist that inspired me, but That's okay, let's start with my family. With my family, um, my great grandmother. Okay. Well, I wouldn't know where she comes from, but she came to South Africa, and she was a guitar player and a music okay. and a singer. Okay. And my grandfather and his seven brothers derived from, and they all went through music with her. And then when my grandfather had his five boys. He did the same, he instilled the same thing his mother instilled on him. So that's where it started from. But for me, my greatest, and I'm a big fan, is Chris Brown. <laughs> <laughs> he can dance, he can sing, he works it. Yes, he's my favorite. Um, and if you go, go back, my best artist right from when I was small is Whitney Houston. Okay. 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 Now, now, now did, did your, your, your grandparents or whatever, whatever did they did they did they tour? Did they around South Africa a little bit and kind of got the music out that way and perform? Yes, they did. Yes, they did a lot, and that's how like when people look at me from the family, we've got a huge family. Okay. So basically, from the left side, which is the low, there's eighty nine grandkids. Eighty nine French, eighty nine grandchildren. Yes. <laughs> wow. That's, That's a big, big family. family. Go ahead. Huge. And then from, okay, my dad is Naidu. You might not, I might not look Indian, but yeah, my dad's Indian. Okay. <laughs> Naidu. From the Naidu side, we have about 56 grandkids. Okay. So combining us from, from my mom's side and my dad's side, they kind of, the Naidu is also married into the low side, you know, like once they meet these beautiful girls from the lows. Right. So yeah, so our okay. family's are beautiful, and that is what actually brings us out. So people know us, right? You know, like when you go to Durban, you can go to Cape Town. You're gonna find my family there. We've got um, two towns founded by my family: Lowsburg, which is from the low side, my mom's side, right. and Drogstra, which is from also my mom's side. So we are a big family, and. We are known. So when people just talk the low, the low daughters, it's like wow. Okay, the Naidus, the five brothers that sang, you know, so it's it's something that gives me hope all the time because they made it so far. But I believe I'm making it further than that. 
Right. Now, now you, you said, said that you were offered a record deal when you were 16. Yes, that's with um, Gallo. Gallo. I was with Gallo. Um, those, Gallo was the biggest back then. But okay. now, those labels are small now. So back then, and then I, I had to turn it down because my guys weren't chosen. They only chose me. So I was like, right. yeah, I don't want to leave these guys behind because we used to stand on the street corners and sing and they'll rap and I rap, you know, we just play play around, but we love music, you know, the passion of music. So that's why we carried on pushing. And we came to Johannesburg from KZN, did our thing, but unfortunately, if they weren't. Okay, I want you to come back. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Oh man, we're getting into a real good discussion. Um, I'm hoping that her sound and voice will come back. It's going to be very interesting, as you can tell. Um, let's just give it a second to our audience and let's see if she can. Um, she can come. Her, her um, communications are her, oh, so she got knocked out. Um, I'm gonna try to link back up with her, everybody, and let's see what happens. It was very interesting. Very interesting with this interview. Oh man, I'm gonna contact her back, okay? I think she's contacting me Mike Posse now. So let's see, can we get her back, okay? See you in a minute, everybody. <laughs> 